Welcome in to the Dolphins Today Mailbag. I am Will Scott answering your questions here. A lot of trade rumors to discuss just a few days away from the NFL trade deadline. And let's begin talking about this trade idea from Vex. We appreciate the super chat and we appreciate the question. My trade idea, Miami trades Mike Kosicki for Dallas Goddard. What are your thoughts? I don't really know if the Eagles, and Jeremy Chuggs, maybe you want to turn your mic on for this because you're an Eagles fan. I mean, do you think the Eagles would, would have any reason to trade Goddard right now? Uh, no. They, they're, they're, they're a contender. They, they, they're going all in. They're, right. they're trying to trade for multiple pieces right now. They're not selling anything at the deadline. Now, I'm not saying this is realistic either, but a more realistic swap is Gasicki for Dalton Schultz. Now, I also don't think that's really realistic, but both guys are on the tag. Both guys, you know, probably not going to be back with their respective teams next year. That's a little bit more realistic, but by a little bit more, I mean like 1% to 5%. Joey Payan, we appreciate the question, the $5 Super Chat. Love the channel, man. Do you think Sidney Jones of the Seahawks would be cheaper for the Finns than William Jackson? Could he be a better fit in the scheme, too? That's an interesting question. I like Sidney Jones. Um... Cheaper, I think they'd be pretty similar in price. I think you could get William Jackson, even though he's the bigger name. I think you could get him for maybe a fifth or a sixth. Uh, he, he wants a fresh start. He wants out. Uh, better fit in the scheme, maybe. It's very possible. But, you know, William Jackson needs a fresh start. So, And, and the Seahawks are doing pretty well, so I don't know if they would, they're going to be sellers at the deadline. Uh, we got Juice, Alvin Kamara. Thoughts? If the Finns trade for Alvin Kamara... We're going live for like three hours if that happens. That would be incredible. Uh, he is a surprise trade candidate for me. And the reason I say that is because the Saints are 2-5. and five. They have an absolutely uh, nightmare situation at the quarterback position. They actually have chosen Andy Dalton to be the starter there. How sad is that? So they don't have a first-round pick either in what's a very deep quarterback class. So I'm not saying I'd give up a first for Kamara. Uh, but the Saints are really going to do something, I think, especially if they lose again on Sunday, which I think they will against the Raiders, to move back into the first round. Um, and I think that Kamara might be a trade chip. I think they would be kind of stupid to trade him. They should be a long-term option there in New Orleans, um, especially considering they really, they really don't have any young, talented running backs on that team. If you were trading Kamara to maybe get a younger guy some playing time, that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, but I do not think they're going to trade Kamara. But maybe a dark horse trade candidate to watch here at the deadline. If he goes to Miami, that'd be a lot of fun. Thomas Solomon, we appreciate the super chat and the question. What are the chances Byron Jones comes back at all? Uh, not good. Uh, Mike McDaniel has even said a couple times they're not really thrilled with the way that has uh, progressed um, his uh, rehab. So, uh, Thomas, it's an interesting question because... He had this cleanup surgery on his ankle back in March. It wasn't really supposed to be anything major. He's supposed to be back well before training camp. He's not back by training camp. He put on the pup list. Supposed to be back by week one. He wasn't. Supposed to be back by week five. He wasn't. Now we're into week eight. He's still not back. So uh, I'm not optimistic at all about Byron Jones. Uh, Kano, man, we appreciate the question. Could we trade for Greedy Williams? Man, uh, this is a name that I admittedly probably should have discussed in my trade uh, targets video earlier. I really like Grady Williams. Uh, played for LSU, was outstanding for the Tigers, and has been a pretty solid player early in his NFL career, and someone the Browns might look to shop here. Dov Kleiman tweeted this out earlier. The Browns are listening to trade offers regarding running back Kareem Hunt and cornerback Greedy Williams, according to Stain Brook NFL. So Greedy Williams uh, is the Browns are probably going to be sellers here at the deadline, now 2-5 and five on the season. He's a name to watch here for Cleveland. Would you trade for Greedy Williams, a young corner that can be, you know, your guy at that position for a long time, type T for trade, type T for pass? I would give up a third-round pick for Greedy Williams. I would. Um, that might be a lot, might be considered a lot. He was a second-round pick, I believe, in 2019. But I really like him, and I'm kind of giving up on Byron Jones coming back anytime soon. Trade for Greedy. Him and X can be your guys for the foreseeable future. Thomas Solomon, again, the MVP so far today. We appreciate man. $5 Super Chat. Well, it means, what is your take on moving Connor Williams back to guard and either trading or picking up a true center? 
I'm all for it. I don't think they are. I think they believe in Connor Williams. Um, he was struggling until last week. Last week he showed improvement. I'm going to give credit where credit's due. I know I've uh, criticized Connor a lot. Uh, but he had a really good game. Uh, he was actually the highest rated Dolphin by PFF uh, last game. Uh, so I don't think they're going to I don't think they're going to uh, I don't think they're going to think about moving him back to guard now, but if you move he's a really good guard. He was a top 10 guard in the league last year. Move him to guard and then you fix the Liam Eikenberg issue and then trade for Matt Hennessy, who was a top 10 center in the league last year. It's not even starting Atlanta right now. It's an easy call for me if I'm Chris Greer, I do that. Uh, but again, Connor Williams, they think he's improving. I don't think they're going to move him back to guard. NFL, Miami trades a player and tries to sign OBJ. <laughs> That'd be wild. That'd be almost as wild, maybe even more wild, than trading for Alvin Kamara. Um, the player they might trade, we'll talk about in a second, is Seth Wilson. Uh, he just hasn't been really utilized this year. In terms of trying to sign OBJ, I don't really think that's realistic, but... It'd be a lot of fun, NFL. be a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's more likely if the Dolphins have an injury at the wide receiver position, which luckily they've been uh, pretty healthy there this year. Guys, you can go back to the Fins on Sunday at chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code to pick up that deposit. Bonus, chatsports.com slash bet. If you put in that promo code and put in $100, you're going to start $225 in your account. It's a great deal. Here is the spread in the total. For Sunday, the Dolphins only a three and a half point favorite. I think the Fins win this game by double digits. I think uh, they, hell, they, with, without bad the Lions defenses, they might just they might score 51 points. The Dolphins themselves go bet on the Fins. Feel like to be a high scoring game. Bet the over as well. Chatsports.com/bet promo code Dolphins125 to pick up that deposit bonus. John Ruiz, always appreciate you down in the comment section. Dolphins trade Austin Jackson and Liam Eikenberg for a left guard and Taylor Moden and Tevin Jenkins. Man, I would love either Moden or Jenkins. I, you're not going to trade for, for both. Um, I don't think the Bears are going to are going to move Jenkins. He's been arguably their best offensive lineman this year, but Taylor Moden certainly a trade candidate in Carolina. Uh, might be even though they won last week, only though they're only one game back in the division. I expect a fire sale to go on over there with the Panthers. Kenny Voodoo, we appreciate you. How likely is it we trade Sed and Ted at the deadline? Uh, oh, Teddy. Um, I don't think it's very likely. Uh, Sed Wilson actually said this about maybe requesting a trade because he just hasn't gotten involved after a pretty good season in Dallas last year, I might add. Here's what he said. That hasn't crossed my mind. When I signed here, this is where I wanted to play. It's still that way. A trade is not on my mind. That would be left up to people above my pay grade. So Sed Wilson who signed here before the trade of Tyree Kill, uh, just hasn't gotten involved. I mean, he is, I think he has fewer, fewer receptions this year than Trent Shurfield, which is pretty wild. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, not going to get traded either. Um, but I don't think Teddy comes back next season. Do you want to trade said Wilson? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comment section. Go down and let me know. Would you trade said Wilson at the deadline? If it's for an offensive lineman, probably would. Gavney Owens. How many touchdowns will Tua throw against the Lions defense? Also, do you think the Dolphins make it to the AFC Championship game? I think Tua has a really good game. The Lions aren't very good. I'm going to say three touchdowns, no picks for Tua. In terms of AFC Championship right now, I'm just going to be a realist and would say no. The AFC is loaded. Dolphins are 4-3 and three right now, but 4-0 oh without Tua. I definitely think the Dolphins make the playoffs. I'm still thinking 10-7, and 11-6. I think they get their first playoff win in, in 22 years. Uh, but making it the FC Championship game is going to be tough. Southern play at 4-6-9. We appreciate you. Trade Mike in a second to Denver for Bradley Chubb and Jerry Judy. Um, unfortunately, you're going to have to give them a lot more than that to get both Chubb and Judy. I think acquiring both those guys is pretty much impossible in the same deal. Uh, Bradley Chubb, though, Mike and a second for just Chubb might be enough. Uh, I think that is uh, is certainly possible. Uh, Bradley Chubb was one of my trade targets for the Fins in that last video I gave you all, and, and I really like him. He'd make your defense really scary, but you'd probably have to give up a first to get him. Dolphin SFE. Channing Tindall is a beast. I agree. We need to put him on the field. Do you see him getting on the field after the bye week? Yeah, I think the deeper we get in the season, the more reps he's going to get. He's still a rookie. He's still learning. The Dolphins do have a little bit of depth at linebacker, but I'm with you, man. He's so fast. 
Utilize his speed. He can get to the quarterback so quick. I mean, he did it at Georgia last year. I really like Channing. Don't trust Goodell. I'm with you there. Are you worried about the Lions? Um, a little bit. A little bit. They're a gritty team. They're a tough team. They're better than their record. Uh, they probably should be 3-3 three and three right now or something like that instead of 1-5. and five. They're much better than their record. They're Look, it is never easy to get a win in the NFL, especially on the road. It's going to be tough. The Dolphins cannot overlook this Lions team, but I think the Dolphins pull away in the end. Guys, go down. What do you think the Dolphins' record is going to be this year? I said 10-7, 11-6, and something like that earlier. What do you think? Go down in the comments section and let me know. Curious to hear what y'all think. Go down and predict the Dolphins' record for this year. Thomas, we appreciate the question. What's your take on sending a third and a fourth to Cleveland for Hunt and Williams? Um, I think getting both of those guys would be tough. Uh, I really like Grady Williams, though. We've talked about Williams earlier. Uh, Kareem Hunt, on the other hand, um, I mean, getting both those guys is going to be tough. What's crazy is if you send a third and a fourth and a, and a player for maybe both those guys, it might be realistic. Um, if you're going to ask me who would I rather trade for between Greedy Williams and Kareem Hunt, though, it's going to be Greedy Williams 10 times out of 10. It's just a bigger need. Brandon Katra, we appreciate you. Where is Hunter Long and when will he get involved? I mean, I want to know, why do you carry five tight ends and you're only using two of them? You really haven't used Tanner Connor that much. You haven't used Hunter Long. Ethan Carter has a concussion. He's still recovering, but uh, I'm with you, man. Get Hunter Long involved. He uh, he showed some promise throughout the offseason. Joshua Lucky, we appreciate it. Which trade gets us over the hump and into the playoffs? This is a great question. A offensive line, B running back, or C corner? Whew, that is a great question. That's one of the be that's one of the best questions we've ever gotten here on Dolphins Mailbag. Josh, I would say it depends on the player. If it's a guy like Taylor Moden or Matt Hennessy, A. Um, otherwise, it's C. I think trading for Greedy Williams is more important than trading for a mediocre offensive lineman. And I like Raheem Mostert as RB1. I'm fine with him as RB1. I'm not fine with, Ed I'm not fine with Edmonds at, at RB2. Miles Gaskin should be that guy and get Chase Edmonds out of town. But, uh, yeah, I think corner is more important right now just because of the lack of depth you have at that position. But... You do have Cater Kohu and Keon Cross is coming back this week, hopefully. Dale, we appreciate the question. Dale Dimadome, heck of a name. Dimadome, excuse me. Most valuable... Oh, nice. <laughs> Most valuable player on the Dolphins. This is easy for me. And you should all agree, based on the last four weeks. Tua Tonga Vailoa, Toronto Armstead. Those are your two most valuable players. Having two on the field is crucial. You keep them on the field... By having Teron Armstead out there blocking for him because the offensive line was horrendous when Teron Armstead missed those two games. Guys, go down and follow me on Twitter. If you did not get a question in on the mailbag, you can DM me your question on Twitter. I'll get back to it. Also on Instagram, at WillieFins. But go follow me on social media and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more Miami Dolphins mailbags.